am. I'm just sitting on here, just dilly dallying around, and the phone did finally die. If I it died on me like on Sunday, this is Tuesday morning, early in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning. Anyway, the phone finally died on me, and I wasn't able to even. You wouldn't even charge it. Wouldn't even turn on nothing. So I'm just got lucky that uh, right before it did die. One of my subscribers called me from down here in uh, South Carolina because she had heard about my dilemma. And God bless her, she helped me out a little bit. And I went ahead right then. I had I only had like 2% charge on my phone. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like holding on with dear breath, like hoping this is going to work. I called the Metro PCS place up. And I was able to speak to an agent right off, and I got on there, and I told her what I needed, and I went ahead and paid for my deductible for my phone with my card over the phone. So they're telling me that my new phone's supposed to be delivered out here today. Thank God. And they're going to send me a box, more or less a little coffin, to put my old phone in. And I'm going to send it back to them to be cremated. I guess we'll have a little funeral for it. But yeah, all this uh, calculating, figuring, and talking, and texting, and everything done killed that poor phone. Man, I'm telling you, I put videos up. I did hotspot on it. I put used the hotspot to upload videos on YouTube. I did a whole lot of stuff. You know, I never did drop that phone in water, though. That's one thing I got to commend myself about. I never dropped that phone in any water or anything. I might have had a little water on my fingers or something from washing my hands or might have had my fingers damp, you know, and took off that back a little bit. That's why I got a little red spot where the battery, but you know, that's common. That doesn't mean anything's wrong with the phone. That just means you got the, the little red paper in there and accidentally damp a little bit and naturally it's going to turn red. So, nevertheless, we're getting the new phone this morning. I'm going to go to the store and have it activated and everything. And then we'll be back online. And hey, you know, I got to thinking, I might as well grab up another video. Because y'all probably thinking I was sitting up here all down in the press and taking a break and not working on numbers. Oh, no. No, no, no. Lucky dog, he out there right now flying around spreading luck all over the place. All over the place. And uh, me, well, I've been sitting here practicing on this pick four workout formula because um, I did find something last week that kind of turned the whole ship around. That's how I got that number off of um, for Thursday evening, or was it Thursday? Friday evening. Friday evening, it dropped that um, 8878 from that new idea that I had. I'm like, golly, it was the third. It was actually the third um, draw that I wrote down on my workout paper. It was the third draw that I wrote down on my workout paper. And lo and behold, that sucker didn't hit. Ooh but I didn't play it. I didn't play it because I was just, you know, I get down and depressed and stuff, and I'm like, I just. I couldn't bring myself to go to the store and play it for nothing in the world. I started to, and I said no, because I couldn't get it out there in time. And I knew I wouldn't be able to text it to everybody unless anybody called me. The only one called me was, uh, I'm not going to mention his name, but congratulations, hon. It was a $1,200 winner right there. But you know what? Now we got the new phone. Everything's going to be a lot better. A lot better. Oh, Queen Ching ain't going to be on here... She she got the numbers. She know what she doing now. I've been sitting here practicing all night long. I went from, um, I can't get internet because I don't have internet here in the house. But down the road a little ways, there is a Rickland County Library, so I can go down there and sit in the parking lot and use their internet with my Wi-Fi. Which is good, so I can get some of the numbers, which is what I did. I went and and 
got the three pages South Carolina pick three, pick four, and I got I think California it was, I believe. So anyway, I went ahead and, and put those on my iPad. When I got back home, I sit here and start doing the workout for tomorrow for South Carolina for pick four and pick three. Well, for today. Okay, for today. These, these heads may have already hit. I don't know. Depending on what time I get this video up. But anyway. I put this video up. And more than likely these numbers that I've got now have already hit. I've already got my phone. So we're working on new numbers. Nevertheless, we know what we're doing. Um, if you want to get in on the action now. Honestly, you got to be in the numbers club. I put a lot of hard work. I put a lot of hard work in on uh, coming up with these numbers. This ain't no joke. Uh, I kid you not. It is not no joke. Hold on just a second. It is not no joke. Because Queen Chingling. Queen Chingling works her butt off getting this stuff. I actually sat down there tonight at the Richland County Library. And I, I, I haven't been on there at a time when... I went on Facebook for a little bit, and I seen this guy on there that I've been kind of following too. Now he's really good. He's just like Queen Chingling. His name is Arthur Lomax. Um, I can't say anything bad about him because hey, he's right on the point too. He is right on the point. It's just that he and I kind of work off of different platforms. Maybe one day I'll get him interested enough to call up old Queen Chingling and say, "Hey, let's let's." Uh, <laughs> Let's put our heads together and see what we come up with. See what we, see what was what. I don't know. I mean, he got his own thing. I got my own thing. But like I said, if you decide you want to follow him or and get on his program, he's got a, a good program too. That's Arthur Lomax. Um, and he's on Facebook. I never heard him before the other week. Honestly, I never heard of him before. Uh, I don't know how. I stumbled across him it just popped up on Facebook one day and I started listening to him I'm like, this guy's pretty smart wow so anyway that's where we stand now we're waiting on that uh, UPS man to drop that new phone off to us and we'll be back in business I feel so much better I did won't be no more stressing no more stressing about the phone not being able to charge up. Ah, uh, oh, happy day. All I can say. So, may have to work out something a little different about getting these numbers out there to you. Um, yeah, I might have to do that. But we'll come up with something. Just be Queen Chingling. Y'all have a good. Stay blessed. Stay well. And. Join that um, our number club. The numbers club is twenty dollars a month. I know y'all say, "Well, she crazy." Hey, I ain't crazy. If you can get the hits as good as I can, hey, that's your business. I mean, I've been working on this thing for years, years, years. And the one thing that made me so uh, tickled to death to hear about Arthur Lomax. Hey, he know. He knows that this stuff ain't no game. We sit in here for 18, 19 hours a day. I mean, this might be our thing right now, but the, hey, that's how we do our thing. It takes 18, 19 hours a day doing all these states and figuring out all these numbers, and it ain't no, it ain't no game, okay? This is, some, this is some, thinking is some hard work. They give you a headache. Yes, it will, hon. Anyway, join the numbers club. It's twenty dollars via cash app, and then I'll start sending numbers to you probably via a text. Yes, I will. You know what I might end up having to do is I, honestly, if I can get to where I can afford to here in a little bit, to get me an extra phone. Um, somehow or another. That's what I'm thinking about doing. And that's where, you know, when y'all send me money for the monthly um, numbers club, that's where the money goes to, is to keep them lines open, keep them lines of communication open, 
keep the uh, internet turned on. It, it goes to keeping uh, Queen Chingling in paper, in pens, in markers, stuff like that. Equipment she needs to um, do these numbers and stuff and figure out all this stuff. Because like I said, it ain't no game. It's just like you going out here and going to work. Man, I'm telling you, had, I, had this thing been working last week, this phone been working last week, and I was able to get out that uh, pick three number, or pick four number to everybody that won all that money. Holy cow. Whew. But a lot of people weren't calling me either. A lot of people weren't calling me, and that's why I suggest you got a chance, you need to call me, ask for your numbers. Call me and ask for your numbers so I don't have to... Um, text them to you. I don't mind texting them to you, but, you know, call me and ask for them. Uh, but you got to be on the numbers club. You got to be in the numbers club. Uh, you got to be in my book. If you call me, if you call me and I find out you're not in the book, I'm just going to say, hey, you got to be in the number. I just can't do it for you. And that's the trick of it. It's not fair for me to up and give people the numbers that ain't in the numbers club. And I've got people out here that are paying People that, that do want to be in the numbers club. It just tells me, if you said tell me that, hey, I'll send you money when I win, that's telling me you're not ready to be in the numbers club. Hey, we are an elite group. Yes, we are. So, all right. I'm out of here. This be Queen Chingling. Y'all have a good one, and I'll hit you back later.